Good morning and welcome to the Clopas. I hope that you are well this morning. I was, I just, I love God so much and I love that as we press into Him and as we seek Him, He presents Himself and He is so there. And this morning I was praying uh, specifically for a breakthrough in some different areas and about impossible things and I just, I keep being reminded of, of Gideon's army and also how many times like the Israelites were just at impossible odds and the Lord gave them a word and then he took care of it as they obeyed and as they walked in faith and as they worshiped him. And so this morning I was praying about some impossible, seemingly impossible things and just asking the Lord for breakthrough in those areas. And then I opened my Bible to where I've been hanging out. I've been hanging out in John to, to just keep reading. And the next chapter is chapter 6. And it's Jesus feeds the 5,000. Sometime after this, Jesus crossed to the far shore of the Sea of Galilee. And a great crowd of people followed him because they saw the signs he had performed by healing the sick. Then Jesus went up on the mountainside and sat down with his disciples. The Jewish Passover festival was near. When Jesus looked up and saw the great crowd coming towards, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? He asked this only to test him, for he already had in mind what he was going to do. Philip answered, it would take more than half a year's wage to buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up, here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish, but how far will that go among so many? Jesus said, have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in that place, and they sat down, about 5,000 men. Don't forget the women and the children. Jesus then took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. When they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled 12 baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves left over by those who had eaten. God has the answer to every breakthrough that is needed and not just to kind of maybe get there or maybe squeak by to have abundance left over. When we have not enough, when we have not enough to supply for the needs we're not called to supply for the needs of all people. That's what God does. We just make ourselves available and say, yes, Lord, I am here. I've got nothing, but I love you, I trust you, and I will follow you. And you know what? God is a God of breakthrough, and he has breakthrough for me, and he has breakthrough for you. So I want to encourage you today to press into the Lord, to call upon his name, and to worship him. But to bear in mind that his ways are not our ways, and his solutions don't always look like are 2020 solutions so trust in him because he has great things in store for you but also to shine for his glory and his greatness have an amazing day serving the god of breakthrough god bless